Welcome to UK Paranormal Search and tonight I brought you to the town of Nottingley in West Yorkshire and tonight I'm investigating alone the very haunted Nottingley Town Hall. Tonight UK Paranormal Search embarks on a two hour journey not only braving the infamous horrors of the M62 but also venturing to investigate the eerie and haunted Nottingley Town Hall. Nottingley, an historic town nestled in the Wakefield district of West Yorkshire, known for its rich heritage, the town is home to notable landmarks including Nottingley Town Hall. Nottingley is one of the five towns that define the eastern region of the Wakefield district. It shares this distinction with Castleford, Featherstone, Pontefract and Normanton. Nottingley developed as an inland port along the River Eyre, thriving until the canal sections to Leeds were constructed in the early 18th century. During the Victorian era, the town emerged as a hub for glass production, a tradition that continues today with glass bottle manufacturing remaining one of its key industries. Nottingley Town Hall, located in the heart of Nottingley, West Yorkshire, is more than just a striking piece of architecture. Built in 1865, this grand structure once served as the headquarters for Nottingley Urban District Council. Nottingley Town Hall is more than just an historic building. It stands as a testament to the ambition and vision of a local businessman who saw the need for a central hub in this thriving town. And the site they chose for this grand building was once home to a monastery, dating all the way back to the 7th century. Some say that the land has a darker, more mysterious past, one that stretches far beyond the town itself. There are whispers that pagan rituals and witchcraft have taken place on these grounds, long before the building was even constructed. Whether it's ancient energy or something summoned by those rituals, many believe that the strange happenings in Nottingley Town Hall might be tied to the land itself, to forces much older than this building. For decades, decisions that shaped the future of this town were made within these very walls. Now, however, Nottingley Town Hall serves as a different purpose. It operates as a community centre hosting events and gatherings for local people. But despite its current role in the community, whispers of its haunted past have never quite faded. Many believe that the spirits of those who once worked here, perhaps those with unfinished business, still linger in the halls and corridors. From ghostly children heard laughing in the halls to the mysterious figure of a phantom tea lady, Nottingley Town Hall has had its fair share of strange happenings. But that's not all, there are countless stories of glasses shattering all on their own behind the bar. Door handles moving as if someone is trying to enter, even when there is nobody there. People have heard the unmistakable sound of keys jangling in the dead of night, echoing through the empty building. With so many reports of strange phenomena, I just had to come and have a look for myself. Tonight I will be alone, exploring every corner of this building, seeing if we can witness these events firsthand. Ghostly children, a phantom tea lady, objects moving by themselves, could we capture it all on camera? Whatever is haunting this place, it doesn't seem to be shy. Let's see if it's ready to reveal itself tonight. 
This is the boardroom, the very place where key decisions that shape the future of Nottingley were made. Many important meetings were held around the large table, but it's not just the history of leadership that lingers here. Over the years there have been several chilling reports of the tables moving and vibrating all on their own. Some have even claimed to have seen the chairs shift as if unseen figures were still seated here, debating in silence. Could the rest of the spirits of those who once sat at these tables still be making their presence known? Or is there something else in this room, something we can't quite see, causing these strange disturbances? Foundations of this cellar were laid centuries ago. Remnants of the old monastery that once stood here. Monks had been seen in this very cellar, their ghostly figures wandering, tied to a past long forgotten. The staff, even today, refuse to come down here alone. There is something unsettling, something dark, that holds this place, as if the past is never truly gone. They say the spirits of a World War II airman have been seen wandering this very cellar. On February 6, 1943, a night of tragedy struck Nottingley. Two coaches were travelling from Pontefract, carrying airmen who had just left to dance, unaware of the fate that awaited them. As one coach came off the road, it crashed into the wall of the old vicarage, just outside this very building. The impact was fatal. The cracked wall of the vicarage is still visible today, a silent reminder of the tragedy that took eight lives that night. Eight souls ripped from this world in a moment of terror. This cellar was designated as a first aid post of mortuary during the war, a place of refuge to tend the wounded. But soon it became something darker. It became a mortuary where the bodies of the airmen from the crash were brought to rest. Are their spirits still here, still waiting, unable to leave this place, lost between the world they knew and the one they may now haunt? This staircase may seem like just another part of the building, but it holds a tragic story. In 2006, Edwin, the beloved caretaker of Nottingley Town Hall, had a terrible accident right here and sadly lost his life. Edwin was known throughout the hall as a kindly character, a man who was always there to help and who forever had a beaming smile on his face. But his tragic death left a mark on this place. People say they still see him all the time. Shadows at the top of the stairs, fleeting glimpses of a man who seems to vanish the moment you look twice. They say Edwin is still watching over the building, continuing his caretaking duties even in death. Whether it's a memory or something more, his presence is felt strongly here, especially at night. Could Edwin still be with us, making sure the hall is looked after, just as he did in life? This is the ballroom, perhaps one of the most haunted spots in Nottingley Town Hall. It's in this very room that many have reported seeing dark shadows moving across the floor as if something or someone unseen is still here watching. People have also claimed to hear knocking sounds coming from the walls, echoing through this space with no clear source. But it's the stage area right behind me that is said to be the epicentre of paranormal activity. From unexplained footsteps to ghostly figures appearing on the stage itself, this area seems to hold the most intense energy. Is it the spirits of the past performers or is it something much older tied to the very foundations of this building? Right guys, we've gone into night vision here at Nottingley Town Hall. I'm going to start downstairs. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick sweep of the whole building. I've switched all the lights out now and there's hardly any emergency lighting in here and it is really pitch black, it's so dark. I'm on the bottom corridor at the moment and I'm going to show you in a minute what it looks like down there. And when I show you on video it looks to me like an old fashioned school. That's what it looks like, an old fashioned school corridor. But it's a fantastic place, I've just had a walk around, just been doing the b-roll, just been doing the introductions and been down the cellar and it's absolutely massive down there and there's there's no emergency lighting down there either, so it's it's really dark. Lots of stories about this place. Lots of tales. I've spoken to people here tonight who have left. I'll tell you more about that later on in the video, of some of the things that have happened to them. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the corridor. And to me, it's really spooky. And I say, it's pitch black now, I can't see a thing, so... 
let's go on with the video. It's about 20 past 11 at night. Uh, it's taken me absolutely ages to do the introductions and everything else. Uh, I kept cocking up that tonight. I wasn't feeling it and it took me about three attempts. Every, every little bit I did. So hopefully this video is going to be a bit better now and I uh, got myself together. Just had a coffee outside and let's go on with the video. So that's the corridor. And as I say to me, it looks like an old fashioned school or something like that because there's all these little archways as you can see as you're walking down but yeah it's a fantastic place really looking forward to doing it i've done ashbourne town hall i did that one uh, nothing happened at all that night nothing whatsoever so hopefully i'm hoping something will happen tonight in here as i say i'm totally alone so i've no other influence of anybody being in this building apart from me the door's locked all the girls have gone now and left me to it. And one of them just said to me, where were you than me? You wouldn't catch me staying here. We do have to be careful. There is an office that is locked. And I whistled before just for a response when I was just doing the B-roll. And straight, straight away I heard the whistle. But it isn't that. There's something in the office like a fax machine or something. And every so often you will hear it go beep. So that's what that is. So if you hear that now, that's what that is. It's like a beeping sound in the office. So there you go. This is the corridor downstairs. I'll, I'll show you a little bit more on the way back, what it looks like from the bottom end of the corridor. Well, was an interesting story again down here of some ladies' toilet, well, toilets. And it's always the toilets, isn't it, that seem to be haunted wherever you go. You know, every place I've been, the toilets are haunted. And the dance teacher here I was speaking to, she said she was leaving the building one night and that door handle there, I think it was that one, which leads into the toilet block, that door handle was rattling, it was going up and down and she thought somebody was locked in the toilet. She went in there and there was literally nobody in there. That really spooked her out and I could tell when she was telling me tonight that it really did spook her out. But that's looking back now, right down towards the main entrance. I'll just zoom in down there for you. And that's what it looks like. Quite a spooky corridor. Uh, I feel that door there is just this back staircase that leads up to the ballroom. So, we'll give the call out and just see if anything does happen. So if there is anybody here with me tonight, any spirit people, who wish to come forward, who wish to come and speak to me. My name is Phil. I treat you with respect. I wish you no harm. I'm just asking tonight for any spirits that are here to come forward, who wish to come and communicate with me, then come and give me a sign that you are here. Maybe knock on something or close one of the doors or show yourself in shadow form towards the main entrance of the town hall. If you wish to walk towards me, that's fine. I'm here all alone, I've come a long way to see you. I'm just asking you to come forward, come and do something for me to just prove that you are still here in this building for whatever reason whether you just visit here or maybe you're even trapped here for whatever reason then let us know, close one of the doors behind me knock on one of the doors like this if you're the knock back, it's fine oh that was something upstairs it sounded like As soon as I knocked, did you hear that? I think, hope oh, you did. Now, whether that's natural, I don't know, but I've not heard that tonight as far as I know. I'm going to try that again. If that was you, thank you. If I knock again... I the door to knock on. If I knock again... Can you knock back? Could you knock back again for me? Thank you. 
Have you? I don't really get spooked in places, as you know. I look back at my videos and I do these videos alone. Um, but I've got a bit of a weird feel about this place. I don't know if it's just the way the, the corridor is at the moment, with all these like doors that go off everywhere, all down the corridor, left and right, where it's something psychological to do with that, I honestly don't know. But it does feel a little bit weird. I'm not spooked, but it feels... Um, I can't, how can I put my finger on it? It feels that something could happen. I think it could be that dark. And quiet, it's so, so quiet here. The, the, the main road, I've just been out for coffee. There's not much traffic about now either. I think the last bus has just gone past. So it's gone very quiet outside as well now. But the good thing about this place with being on my own, if I do hear anything, anything at all upstairs or moving around, I will hear it. And that will be quite spooky. I say, wait till you get down to the cellar because that is going to be one hell of a spooky investigation down there. It is honestly, guys, pitch black down there. You can't see a thing and it's massive, absolutely massive. And there's loads of tales of hauntings down there. So that's going to be a test for me tonight, I think. I'd just love to be able to actually go live with this camera to you guys and see what I see. That'd be absolutely fantastic. I really do learn, need to learn how to do it, or if I can do it, that'd be great to actually go live and you see through this camera what I'm seeing. Um, is that a lift? That's the lift. Now, apparently also, that lift has been known to go up and down on its own accord as well. But this is the foyer of the town hall. That takes you up to the ballroom, which we'll go later. That's the main entrance there. That goes down to the cellar, down there. So that's looking back now, right down the corridor where I've just walked. As you can see, you can see how dark it is. I've just switched the the night vision off for a second. So if I can find the night vision switch. So that's what that's what I'm dealing with. That's what I can see. And as you can see, it's just total blackness. So there you go. The only light I've got when I'm walking is because I'm looking through the viewfinder. Back to doing uh, a long, back to doing what UKPS do, and that is these long vigils. We did a bit of a, a group investigation last last Saturday or the Saturday before at Creep Tunnels in New Brighton. That video is on YouTube, but we did that as a group investigation, and uh, yeah, a few people got spooked. I didn't get spooked at all, really. The only thing I heard was some breaths and just questioning was it. Was it somebody living who was doing it? I don't know. But there's some really weird breaths on that video that we all heard. But other than that, really nothing happened. So I say we're back to the doing what UKPS do. And that is me, on me Todd, investigating haunted buildings. And this is supposed to be one very, very haunted building. <coughs> well, do I find the dance room? I'll tell you a little bit of tale down there. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's down here. Studio. No, a bit clear. Sorry, guys. I just can't see it. A dance studio. This is a spooky room. Oh, yeah. Only smelling it. I don't know what it is. Uh, this is the dance studio. I'm not sure what it used to be when it was a town hall, but uh, the girl who was going out tonight, who had been dancing in here, she was telling me that she was in here cleaning and the building was empty and then upstairs in the ballroom she said she heard a ball that was bouncing across the floor in the ballroom upstairs i think that spooked her out of it and she's the one who said to me there was no way that she'd spend the night in this building like i'm doing tonight she said, i must be absolutely mental but we all know i'm absolutely mental that's me we all know that um and she's the one who was doing this, did a sleepover. It's a big mirror there, it just made me jump because I was filming, just seeing myself in that, which made me jump. 
Uh, and um, yeah, she was she was sleeping upstairs doing a sleepover thing, and they were all on their beds. And she actually said in the night she got pushed off the airbed and onto the floor. So she said a lot of things have happened to her. I was speaking to the dance teacher who, who gave me the key tonight as well. Uh, I don't think she'd stay the night here on her own either. She just only told me about the toilet door uh, that was rattling when she was leaving. A great big mirror there. So if there's any spirits in here with me who wish to show themselves in the mirror or show yourself behind me then come forward tonight and show yourself. Literally show yourself. Walk behind me if you can. Show yourself in the mirror. You don't want me here then let me know. Let me know if you don't want me here. As you can see my infrared light there, it looks like a big torch, but it isn't a torch. It just shows up as like a torch. It, sh it lets no light up at all for me, that, that thing on top. That's the infrared, that's what it looks like in the mirror. So if there's any spirits upstairs, maybe in the ballroom, if you, want, if you want to make a noise above me, we will hear you. If you want to hear, hear your footsteps upstairs, maybe. If you want me to go upstairs, then make yourself be known. Come on, loads of experiences people have had in this building. Is this going to be me again where I turn around and say, you know what, nothing happened to me? Or is it in everybody's imaginations? Come and prove me wrong. Come and prove to me that you are here. Loads of different levels of history in this building, from whatever era you're from. Move that brush, knock it on the floor. Knock something on the floor, anything at all, just move something in here. Make a sound, any sound at all. Go out with here. Um, back onto the corridor downstairs. Got it's dark when you're walking here. It's so spooky when you look down there. Though. Honest to God, it look. Everything looks like a shadow in it, isn't it? It's that bit of door there. See that pit, that black thing there? It looked like a a shadow person was looking at me from a distance, peeking behind the door. As you can see it now. But it's just, it's just the door handle. That, that's what you're dealing with in the dark. That's the problem. When you're in pitch blackness and you're looking down a big corridor like that, that's the sort of thing you're dealing with. Because you, you can only see so much through the night vision from a distance. And, you know, for a minute it can just say, what the hell is that? But it's a door handle. So sometime tonight you wish to move this door handle You've done it before. If you want to do it again, tonight for me, I'd be really thankful. This is through here, it's just, oh, it's just through here, it's just the, everywhere is so dark. This is just the um, back staircase that goes up to the ballroom. You can get that way. So what we'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll go up this way. And then what we'll do, we'll we'll come back the other we'll come back the other way. It's just a back entrance really up into the up into the ballroom. More toilets up here as well. Um, I think this is the back entrance to the ballroom. It's toilets. Ah, yeah. So this is the this is the ballroom we're in now.
a different smell in here to be honest than what there was before. Well, then I'll switch these lights out. Completely, that's pitch black now. So this is a massive room. And it's pitch black. And apparently today, that, Christina was telling me, that cage there moved by itself, apparently, she told me today. She was also telling me, which was, um, somebody else actually verified, and she said they have more activity in this building when there's been children in the building. When there's children in the building, or been in the building, they usually have more activity. And there's been children in the building today, apparently, so hopefully it might just... It might just stir something. That was my thought. I thought it was somebody walking towards me. It's me. And this is the stage. This is where shadow figures have been seen quite often in here and lots of knocking noises. But that stage is supposed to be the epicenter of paranormal activity. So let's go on the stage. Let's be careful because I can't see. I just have to find my way with the night vision camera. Stage. Just be careful because it's pitch black up here. I don't want to fall. The thing doing these things alone, you do have to be careful. You know, to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't recommend doing a paranormal investigation on your own, even though I'm doing it. I wouldn't really recommend it, to be honest. More for health and safety reasons. It's spooky up here though, I've just heard a noise behind me, but it's probably just the wood contracting because I've just walked up onto the stage, I imagine. I'm at the forefront now of this building. I'm in the main part. I'm on the stage, looking right over the ballroom. Was this a happy place for some people? This is where they did all your dancing, maybe all your courting, drinking, laughing, all your emotions that are shed here, sadness, happiness. I'm asking you to come forward, Any, anybody here that is from the spirit world, Can you come forward and give us some kind of sign that you were here? Can you knock on something? Make a sound. Any sound at all. Move a chair. There's a big crate near the bar area. Apparently that's been moved today. If you could move that for me, that would be absolutely fantastic. As you can hear, it's so quiet outside, it's so quiet in the building. Can you show yourself in shadow? Probably you've done it before. Can we hear your voice? Hello? 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 Make a noise. Come and speak to me. Let's hear your voice. 
This is your stage. Maybe this was your stage. This is where you performed. And come perform now. Now's your chance to perform again. For whatever reason, when I said, do you want to perform? You can perform again. I've got real, real goosebumps down my back, <laughs> to be honest. Don't know why. Um, Yeah, it's a bit like Ashbourne Town Hall's ballroom, this. It's not quite as echoey as Ashbourne Town Hall. Ashbourne Town Hall didn't have a stage like this one. Uh, but it's, it's very similar, very similar floor, wooden, like a proper dance floor. You know the wood that like springs a little bit, like a proper wooden dance floor. Um, this is where the ball was heard moving. I just wish I had a ball tonight just to try, but I haven't. Perform then. Shall I perform? That sounded like a scream, but listen. It's a stage, listen that. <laughs> that made me jump for a minute, but it's a stage, it's just a <laughs> it's just a a loose bit of wood or something. So right, I'm gonna count to three. And then I'm going to ask you to perform. One. Two. Three. Now you can perform. Go ahead. Let's hear you singing. Come on, I'd love to hear you sing. Now's your chance to be a star again. Can you move the curtain on the stage? Very quiet in here, to be honest. Um, I think it's just coming up to midnight now. So what I'll do, I'll take you through the ballroom and then what we'll do, that was my foot, we'll take you through the ballroom and we'll take you back down the other set of stairs because there's something else I want to show you downstairs that's quite interesting. What do you want to do later? I, want, I do want to try some EVPs. I've never had any luck with EVPs, but I'm going to try a few tonight, especially down in the cellar. I've got loads of stories to tell you about the cellar. And to be honest with you, I am a little bit apprehensive going down there because it's so dark and so big. And if anything does happen, it's going to be a struggle to get out. This takes you down. Uh, the front entrance where I showed you before. Well, this was the staircase where the poor caretaker unfortunately lost his life here on this staircase. He was a really nice bloke, I believe, and apparently he was putting some Christmas decorations up. I think it was up, up there. On, that, on these windows here, And unfortunately he fell off the ladder and he did lose his life. And people sensed him apparently, whether it was just psychological, Chris, we were talking about this tonight and you know, it, it doesn't seem to happen now, but after he passed, a lot of people sensed that he was here. But you know, is that a normal thing when somebody's passed who spent so much time in this building? She did say she heard some keys jangling one night as if to say he was still here. He was the caretaker, like I say, he spent every every part of his life here as well, I believe. As I say, he was he, he lost his life unfortunately on this staircase. Absolute tragedy, to be honest. Real, real sad story. So Edwin, if you are here. If you are. If you wish to make contact with me tonight. You sounded a lovely gentleman. Everybody loved you. You always had a beaming smile on your face, I believe. And if you do come back here for whatever reason, if you still love this place, a place that you spent so much time, I believe, you were here every day, I believe, 
on most days. And if, if you are here and you wish to make contact with me, that's fine. If you wish to come and, come and say hello, I'm in your building that you loved and I'm going to respect it as well. I respect the building very much. It's a beautiful building. But if you wish to come and say hello, that's fine. If you want to prove that you are still here, if you want to move that, move that gate down there, the door, that's fine. If you want to, anything you want to do, anything, just come forward and do it. You still happy that this place is still open? Happy how it's being run? You want to knock on the front door, check it's locked, you can do that now. Go and, let's go and check the front door for me. Rattle the handle on the front door. Check it's locked. Again, for the second time tonight, I've got goosebumps. Why right? so is spine? <laughs> I'm just standing here in quietness. I did hear some kind of like <clears throat> noise. Could have been anything. Could have been outside. Um, but like I stood here, I was looking towards that gate that I was showing in the video, which is the the reception area. It's just so dark. It is so dark. I've, if somebody walked past there now. And I'm only what one, two, three, four, five, six stairs up. I wouldn't see them. It's that. That's how dark it is here. But you know, if you watch my videos, you watch my videos when I do these investigations. I'm always fine. Tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit it. I'm not spooked, but I feel a little bit apprehensive. Don't know why. I don't know. If it's the building layout that's causing it, I'm not spooked, I'm not scared, but I just feel that something could happen and I feel a little bit apprehensive. Like I said, I'll always bring you the truth. And that's how I feel. It's just one of the things where you anticipate something just happening totally out of the blue. Right, so I'm going to press on now, because this camera is so heavy. And I need to take a break. But